there, but he's going to roam his way down. He's at half health, has to contend with two members of the Afrika Freaks. Immediate lightning surge comes in, but there's the heroic entrance. Korn gets the double knockup. Marin has to be very careful. Repel immediately activated, and Pawn wants this last auto attack. Good cocoon! from Spirit of Smeb. He might be the one going down for first blood, but Lightning Rush once again gets Cyrus himself here. out of trouble. Mata, of course, with the roam. He's going to get his way over. The Grasping Roots land, but not after the lunge. Close get proximity. Speaking of DPs. Yeah, they're actually just looking for the kill under Smeb here. Yes, that's going to be the stun. Slicy Maelstrom comes down. Marin was completely unseen. And Teleport now in answer. Smeb has to be so careful. Grand Challenge comes in, and Pawn completes the Teleport. To range to cure a minion and not die. Auto attacks to a cannon. Spirit's top lane. He's got boots some ability. Yeah, Lightning Rush does come in. He needs to land this cocoon, though. There's no flash available, and they get on top of him. All too easy, Spirit. The right spot at the right time, and it's helping that Cassidy and inch towards a rod of ages, amazingly. Yeah. And 12 to 15 minutes, you'd have to imagine. Might even be done now. Very, very close. The score, he's going to make his way in. There's the teleport in answer. Grand entrance. Oh, entrance. He's going to get Pawn down here. And look at the layering of CC. Mata, he will fall down the hill. Not enough to keep him alive. Good taunt on Dekuro, but gets himself out of there. And Marin, they've already picked up two score in trouble. Marin going down low as depth. He's been unanswered. The root comes in. The Winds of War not enough to get the kill on Dekuro. And KT really want to try and find themselves a kill as Pawn gets himself through. There's the taunt. It lands on Demar and he gets himself out. Oh my god, Spirit! Able to pick up one. Kuro so close to dead as Death tanking up the turret. Spirit. Last one into the 10 man rumble in the bot lane. So we start with the replay teleport coming through from the cast and as the heroic entrance comes through. And KT, they lose Marta straight away. He actually just tanks the turret too long and dies. And the initial trades, they could have chosen to back away at any point. Afrika are trading up before their jungler is even there, but KT don't want to escape with their tail between their legs. They try to make something happen, even though they have full information that Spirit is there. So much confidence shown. The first, Gragas tanks the turret for too long, and then Deft also takes turret aggro. So this is pretty woeful when it comes to play around the turrets, and that's why it ends up being a Talk super... about the weather, guys, because there's a bunch of farming going on at the moment, but there's the grand challenge. Marin, not able to use the repost just there as Smeb throws down the Blade of the Rune King for that extra movement speed. Heroic entrance, comes back down, good stun, but Pawn. The vision advantage for KT, nice time to make a rotation. It is just a cast in for wave player. Arrow flashed out of the way of, but Pawn's gonna soak it. We do have the strangle thorns and Kuro getting chain CC down too soon as well. He's been taunted up. Shield of Duran doing some work, but Kramer says, well, you guys can have fun in the mid lane. I'm going to do my best to try and take this outer turret down in the bottom lane. Oh, God, Def taking so much damage, but Kuro, has he bitten off too much? No, he hasn't. Not quite. Oh, the turret's going to be able to pick up the kill onto Mata. Now Def, He's the repel's there. Spirit, he's going to be able to pick up that kill. Marin doesn't even get the assist, and it's all going. Able to put down wards, which may not be sufficient. Well, everyone from KT is going to find Kuro. Immediate exhaust. There's the Grasping Roots as well. Stranglethorns, they want to lock him up. Nice flash into the Ripwalk there as well as Marin. He's been turned on. Grand Challenge is there. Smeb does, of course, have the Lightning Rush, and he'll be safe. The Taunt comes in for good Meanwhile. measure, but Afrika Freaks, they're looking for this Baron. Teleport is available from Smeb. Down to 4,000. I don't know if they can do it fast enough. Yep, score's gonna get in here. It's at least gonna be a 50-50. Teleport comes down from Smeb. He's gonna get into the pit. He got oh, it! The steal for score! Heroic entrance is gonna get born in here as well as KT wanna turn this one into a fight as well. Effectively, only 100, 500 in it. We are gonna have a look at this replay of how this Baron started up. Shut up the Ash Arrow. Let's track that once if it hit anyway. Actually hit score to further delay wow. him. So that's how slow this three-man Baron was, that score getting hit with what I have to assume was at least a two-second duration Ash Arrow starts to walk in. At this point, you pull off. Cassidy should not have been ripped walking in at the HP value he was at. Oh, Steel comes in, and it's just too early from Spirit. And that's that. Let's score for once be the man on the happy end of a Baron 50-50. Thor thought he'd get a recall off, and then found a Zyra. Yep. Doesn't even bother investing in I like it. Meanwhile, the action is still happening. Death going down very low. Heroic entrance. The taunt's there on Damar. Justice Punch beats him in the face, but he's still not dead. There's the flash. And Pawn locks it up. Ending this. Yeah.
Def takes that one down. Teleport now to move super over. deep for Marin. It might be too deep. Yeah, it might be too deep as Spirit makes his way back. Look at the health bars. They're going low on the side of the Afrika Freaks. Can they even follow up? The tower falls down. Marin says, I think I can get in here, but look at Smeb. He gets the stuns. That's the taunt. And Kramer goes down. Now Marin said, oh, oh maybe, uh, uh, guys, I thought you said the party was 8.30, but it seems to be started at 8. Oh, God. <laughs> This could be SBK trying to end the game. Marin needs to buy some time. Needs to grant challenge someone. Yeah, well, Pont does not find the shield of Durant taunt onto anyone. Gets an exhaust out, so that's at least a good first lunge for the Fiora. Well, Here's the turn. Into corruptions. They are going to turn back around. There's the heroic entrance just to make sure that Kuro couldn't jump on top of anyone. Marin still just skirting the outskirts of this fight. It's like he's not invited to the party at all, Papa Smithy. KT looking for the finish, still a long time on the recalls, but Kramer's just about to come back up. Well, there's the boot, there's the taunt, and he's destroyed. Marin chooses his moment, but it's just not enough. Good redemption onto everyone. It's not quite enough. The Nexus going down extraordinarily low. Well, not quite yet, but it is certainly under threat as Spirit relegated to the fountain. That's going to be the game, and KT despite the early game not exactly going in their favor, turn it all around with a score Baron steal. And what a series to try to disseminate for both teams and both sets of fans, Atlas. A perfect game for the Afrika Freaks in game one. Suddenly feels like a few hours ago because KT came back strong in game two. Part of the match winner when he yeah. needed to be in that game. And then in the third game, it felt like Afrika, with their innovative lane swap with the two solo laners, had actually gotten to a spot where they had good lane assignments, they could 1-3-1, there wasn't a lot of good answers from the side of KT Rolster, but one bad call around Baron. Suffocating, I'm waiting and always hesitating. Kryptonite desires set my heart afire. Heart on fire, set my heart afire.